Hi, today I'm going to talk about my top five ESL phrasal verb activities. So if you want to teach your students about phrasal verbs, try out some of these fun things to do in class. So the first thing to do is concentration. So on cards, I would put the first half of the phrasal verb, like pick, and then the second half on another card up. So pick up, catch on, that kind of thing. And then make sure you have matching sets. Put students into groups of four, and then they can spread the cards out on their desks. And then the first student takes two cards. If it's a match, pick up. They get to keep those cards and go again. If it's incorrect, they put it back in the same spot. That's the key because it's a memory game. And then the next student goes and tries to make a match. If you want to level this up a little bit, you can require the students make a complete sentence with the phrasal verb they've got. So for example, I had to pick up my son at soccer, something like that. Okay, the next one you can do is charades or Pictionary. So write down a bunch of phrasal verbs on slips of paper, and in charades, students have to act it out and their teammates have to guess what it is, and then Pictionary students have to draw it and their team has to guess what it is. All right, the third phrasal verb activity is running dictation. So this is one of my favorite four skills ESL activities. So find a conversation or write a conversation that contains lots of phrasal verbs and then cut it up into um, utterance by utterance. So like the first person says something, cut that, on a, cut that out on a slip of paper. The next person says something, cut that out. And then paste them at various points around the classroom. In pairs, one person is the writer and then one person is the runner. So the runner has to go around to all those phrases around the classroom read what it says in the paper and then remember it and then go back and say it to their partner who has to write it down. Once they have all the things, like maybe there's seven or eight lines in that uh, conversation, they have to put the conversation into the correct order. All right, the next phrasal verb activity is fly swatter. So this is a very simple one. You can write down the second half of the phrasal verb on the board um, and then you can, s two students come up, one from each team and they each get a fly swatter then you can say like the first half of a verb, phrasal verb, for example, pick, the first person to slap up, pick up, gets a point for their team. Then you can erase it and then put something else up on the board. All right, the final phrasal verb activity is dialogue substitution. So maybe your students are kind of like mine and they just read dialogues, but they don't actually pay attention to what they're reading. Of course, it's not their fault, it's my fault because I haven't really given them a reason to read. However, in dialogue substitution, I remove some of the key words, so in this case, some of the phrasal verbs, and students have to read it and then fill in the blanks as well. So this becomes um, more of a challenging activity because it deals with meaning and not just a simple reading activity. Okay, so that's it for my phrasal verb activities. Please check out the full blog post. I have lots more ideas. And also check out my book, 39 ESL Vocabulary Activities. All right, until next time. Bye, everybody.